Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this OpenTX snippet, I'll show you how to set up crow breaking on your radio. Before I get into the configuration, I have four different caveats I have to give you guys. Number one, I am a glider novice. I am not an experienced glider pilot, so I'm not saying this is the only way or even the best way. It's just a way. Number two, I opted for a variable arrangement when applying crow breaking versus using a hard coding configuration. Some of the questions I get on this often ask to show how to do a slow up, slow down deployment. But since I'm using a variable deployment for crow breaking, which means it relies on the left slider, I didn't do anything with servo speeds. Number three, RC Video Reviews channel member Jorge gave me the idea for acro mode, and I have seen his OpenTX configuration, but I did make this from scratch. The fourth and final caveat, this configuration is designed to use up to, but never more than 100% of the weight for servo travel. You may have to adjust your weights and linkages on your setup to ensure it works for your plane. It's far beyond the scope of this video for me to cover all possible combos. So you have to use the logic that I provide here, but you're going to have to work your weights and throws out on your own. Okay, let's get started. Press the model button and hit page right until you get to inputs. And note that I only have four inputs set up, aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. And for this example, I'll only be using aileron. The next thing I'll tell you is that this is designed for four servos. One servo for each aileron, that's one and two, and then one servo for the left flap and one servo for the right flap. So four servos total and four channels. In the standard mode, when I move the aileron stick, you'll see I have very normal looking operation out of the ailerons. And then for my flaps, channels three and four, I have those on the left slider right here. So when I move that left slider up and down, you'll see very normal operation for the flaps as well. When the slider is all the way up, the flaps stop at zero. And when the slider is all the way down, the flaps stop at about 50%. That's standard mode. Very typical operation you'd see on any other plane. The next mode that I have is acro mode. And by the way, I'm switching modes with my SA switch. Acro mode. So when I move my SA switch, that changes the modes. And notice in acro mode what's going to happen. And when I move the aileron stick, I also get movement of the flaps. So as this aileron goes to the right, so does the first flap. As the second aileron goes to the left, so does the fourth flap. So you can imagine in flight, the way that's going to work is this aileron and flap are both traveling in one direction. This aileron and flap are both traveling in the opposite direction. The idea there is to use the flaps as an extension to the ailerons to make the ailerons have the effect of being longer. Okay, so that's acro mode. The next mode is crow breaking, and I get to that with SA down. Crow on. Notice when I move the stick to full deflection, the ailerons only move to 50%. The reason we do that is because we have to allow room for the crow breaking upward to work. Now I'll release the stick, and I'll pull the left slider all the way down, and you can see what happens here. Both ailerons go up together, and both flaps go down together. That's the crow setup. Flap down, aileron up. Okay? Now notice that we can still control the aileron, and when I move the stick left and right, you still see the normal aileron movement, so I can still balance the plane and keep the wings level with this crow mode on. And the left slider is the analog control for the crow braking. So as I move that left slider, you can see that I can use just a little bit of crow braking or a lot of crow braking. And then as I move my aileron stick, the deflection for this aileron goes all the way to 100, and this one also goes all the way to 100. Those are the three modes I have set up. Let's take a look at the mix so we can see how it's done. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen. Okay, notice channel 1 and 2 for the ailerons are both set to 100 and negative 100, and the switch activating this mode is not SA down. What that means is when SA is either up or in the middle position, channel one, this mix line is active. The mix lines below channel one and two don't become active until SA is moved down. So in standard mode, channel one, this line is active. Channel two, this line is active. And then for the flaps, channel three, this line is active. That's the basic configuration that gets you just basic flap control and basic aileron control with no interaction between the two. The next mode is acro mode, and that only applies to the flaps. Notice there is no indicator on the aileron mix lines for anything in that SA middle position. 
So that's why I use not SA up. The ailerons use their base configuration when the SA switch is in the middle spot. The only lines that are affected when SA is in the middle spot are the flaps. And when SA is in the middle spot, what I'm doing is mixing some aileron only 30% into the flaps. So channel three is a flap and channel four is a flap. So when I move SA to the middle, we'll get an audible prompt, acro mode. Acro mode. And you can see that I'm now mixing aileron with the flaps. That's what gives us the combined movement of the flaps and the aileron. So back in the channel monitor, when I move the aileron stick, you can see that we're mixing up to 30% on this flap. You can make it bigger if you want or less if you want, whatever makes you happy. Okay, the final mode is SA down. And when I do that, everything's impacted. So we'll scroll back up to the top and start there. Crow on. Okay, with crow on, the first thing we do is reset the weight on the aileron to only work up to 50% because now we're going to be mixing in the flaps. Notice that I have a 25% weight. That's because I also have a 25% offset. I'll show you that in a minute. And that adds up to 50%. So the weight and the offset both combined for 50%. We add that to the aileron weight of 50%. That gives us 100% of our throw. This configuration is basically copied on channel two. Pay attention to the negative and positive values. On channel three for the flaps, I've got negative 25% for the weight and 25% for the offset, which gives us total travel of 50%, which is the same amount of flaps we get in normal mode. That configuration is repeated on channel four. Let's take a look at the individual mixes so you can see all of them in detail. For channel one, the aileron looks like this. We have a weight of 100, no offset, no differential. Notice the activation switch is not SA down. The first mix line on channel one is when we enter crow breaking. So for this one, I have a weight of 50%, no offset, and notice the multiplex is set to replace. That's because I want the weight to be 50% as a starting point. The third line mixes the flap with the aileron to produce the opposing direction on the control surface. Here's a look at that configuration. Notice I'm using a weight of 25% and offset of negative 25%. That gives us a range of 50, and this one is activated with SA down. That's crow breaking. The second channel is configured identically. I just inverted the weights. That's it for lines one and two. On channel three in standard mode, that's SA switch up. Here's what that looks like. This flap uses a negative 25% weight and a 25% offset. No other modifications. The first mix line is the one that gives us acro mode. So we use 30% of the flap motion. And remember, on normal flap configurations, you normally have the full retracted servo position parking the flaps so they're level with the wing. Keep in mind, if you want to use this mode, you need some space on the top of the wing so that flap can be pushed up. Just keep that in mind. And that's activated with SA middle. The final line on channel three is the crow breaking for the flap. I'm using a weight of negative 25, an offset of 25, the multiplex option is add, and the activation switch is SA down. Channel 4 is basically identical to channel 3 with the one exception, and that's when we're in acro mode because we're using the flap like an aileron. So notice that weight is inverted from the second line on channel 3. We click on this and take a look. We've got a weight of negative 30, an offset of 0, the multiplex is add, the activation switch is SA. Now that you've seen the mix, let's look at how it works one more time. In the model setup with SA all the way up, if I just move my ailerons left and right, in normal mode, everything behaves like it normally should. The flaps come down like they normally would, the ailerons work like they normally would, and there's no interdependency between the ailerons or the flaps. In acro mode, the flaps follow the ailerons. So if I put the switch in the middle position, that activates acro mode. Acro mode. And now when I move my ailerons, the flaps follow. The final mode is crow breaking. Crow on. When I'm in crow breaking, the aileron travel is limited to 50%. That's so we can add crow breaking with the slider. When we add crow breaking with the slider, both of the ailerons go up half of their travel, and the flaps go down to their full travel. And then as I move the ailerons, the ailerons still respond just like they would if we were in a normal mode, except you have limited travel because we're using them for breaks. Finally, I'll let you take a look at the special functions where I have the voice prompts. When SA is up, we play the track Crow Off. 
When SA is in the middle position, we play the track Acro Mode. When SA is down, we play the track Crow On. Notice I've got exclamation 1x in front of all of those. That's because I don't want any of these to be played when I first load this model or turn on the radio. There you go. That's my setup on Crow Breaking for OpenTX. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe. That's all I've got for tonight. Take it easy.